All right, guys, so this is the second part of the background coloring. <clears throat> so what we got here is, we got this so far. So we are going in and where we left off, we were just doing some of this foliage here. So we're gonna keep on doing that, just a little bit more. I didn't, didn't do anything while you guys were gone. So here, what I'm doing, it's like I'm picking the, you know, the tops of like some of the, maybe this is like tall grass, like there's some tall grass in here as well too. I'm peeking out. And uh, the transparency is not locked. And I'm not necessarily just going in with um, light colors either. Like uh, in some cases I'm, I've picked uh, dark colors and going in. So, you know, you can have your, a little bit of your grass here. So I'm just doing that. Very simple brush, nothing, nothing insane. This is all like whatever you see at the side. It's just a simple uh, brush with the hardness cranked pretty high and the tapering on like in the shape dynamics. So I, I really don't go out of my way to use like fancy brushes at all. I don't, if I don't see like the need for it and that just that's not to say that they you know they aren't useful it's just you know I don't know if I can just I'm, I'm like an old schooler type of guy like if I can get away with it doing in a simpler way quicker way you know then I'll, I'll do that if it is quicker for me to use certain brushes I'll do it if not then I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it so so let's see, and we'll do this one here too. This one I wanted to be like, this, this one had like spikes. It was like one of these type plants where it's like really spiked. So we'll do that. So you can like define things like a lot more. When you zoom in, you can go in on a layer and definitely go in. Let's see, let's put some, some bark on this thing too, the trunk. And yeah, at this point it's getting like really, really small. Like, can't see those details, so, you know, be careful how you budget your time. Like, you, you want to go in and go like hyper detail, you can. Now this is like the old, old leaves. The old leaves like turn brown and then they fall down. So you can put that on there too. The trunk of the palm, put some texture in it. So even from a distance, like, I mean, it looks interesting. And you know, like the thing is, is like, be careful how much uh, detail you put in because, you know, you're just gonna end up uh, making your life miserable because the fact is, is that this is a drawing, like how, at least in, at this stage, how I'm doing it. It's, or at any stage, it is a drawing. It is completely a drawing. So nobody is going to expect it to look uh, realistic at this stage because we can see the pencil lines and we want to we want to keep them. Like that's my stated objective is that I want to like keep those things because I I feel it's going to add to the effect. So nothing. Uh, there's there's no benefit necessarily in depending on what you're doing like to go out of your way to make it hyper realistic like it depends like it depends on what you guys actually want to what you guys actually want to do with it if you want it to be realistic then obviously you're gonna have to do put in the time but it might not work it might make it sort of uh, you know synthetic and stagnated so in this case, I know that the loose nature of the lines and this sort of thing are not going to lend themselves to, you know, super synthetic lines. So I know there's a type of roughness that has to still occur with this in order to keep it like believable. So and everybody's going to have like a different different approach, different method. So now we're doing these these here trees. Again, on another layer, this layer is over top of the line art layer. So I just have a brush with scattering right now. I just made it, just took one of the stock brushes. Very simple. And I'm laying some uh, general, uh, just form to the bush to make it look more believable. And then I'm gonna go in with a much lighter green and pick out like certain areas of it. Very small areas.
and just you know again this is the this is the therapeutic part you can just like create it ah uh, let's reduce the flow a little bit and build it up a little bit slower maybe the bush is like more uh, condensed like there's not so much space between the leaves and again you know like don't panic like if that green is not the green you're after you can definitely go in and change it now I also want to put maybe some flowers too why not let's put some white flowers in there so let's pick those pick some white flowers so we'll change let's change that brush to this we'll turn on the scattering and change the count and the shape dynamics actually we'll turn off other dynamics and the brush tip shape what we'll do is we'll increase the spacing and do it like this we can make them a little bit thinner like that okay that's good let's see what happens uh, we have to increase the flow so we got some maybe some white flowers going here this this is the stuff that you know makes it like believable makes you wonder like what oh okay what what do those white flowers look like and if you're going to do them like you have to set where they are so i'm saying that these white flowers only occur on these bushes so it's not just anywhere and everywhere and it's like they're at the top of the bushes you know so then this way it, you know it has that sort of feel like there's some planning involved in this like there's some things of interest you know because nature is interesting and you know that it sort of adds to that uh you know the mystique of the place when you have those sort of details now that being said let's go in and uh we're not going to worry about these bottom ones uh, pretty much what i'm going to do is cut and paste certain things and and put them in here and just match the colors so let's concentrate on the real meat and potatoes here now i'm going to go ahead and say that i'm happy with this so we'll save it and then we'll save another version of it okay Let's save that too so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the sky separate and i'm going to merge actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the put the clouds together cloud and the sky together so now they're on one layer and i'm going to merge the bridge and the other stuff together so now that's all on one layer so now what i'm going to do is create another layer this new layer i'm going to put on multiply and i'm going to turn it onto a clipping mask i'm going to take a brush any brush uh, let's turn off these dynamics. Let's just pick a simple brush. We're going to use a gray. And we're going to go in and basically shade underneath the bridge. Because it's shaded underneath the bridge, so we have to shade it. So, and maybe, uh, what should we do? Is it, am I on this layer too? Yes, I am. So, what I can do is I can also do another nice effect, which is use the mask tool. You know, as the palm tree, the leaves, you know, depending on how high they are, they would, you know, when they, when the aspect of the sun is very high, the shadows become elongated uh, underneath, like directly underneath it. So you'll see what I'm saying. Uh, there we go. So we can have like a part of this thing in, in shadow. Maybe, maybe we'll do it this way. Let's uh, turn on shape dynamics make it so that it tapers and then we can do like these sort of long streaks that sort of suggest that it's the these palm leaves that are casting a shadow here like so and what else so let's turn off the shape dynamics let's go over here to this part of the bridge do it under here too now the obviously like the the water should also have a little bit of shade to it too. So we'll get to that. There we go. Uh, what else is this affecting? Okay. So 
This, uh, when we get to a later stage, like uh, when we start flattening more things, I'll lighten this again. Uh, you know, uh, actually, where is it on the background? It's all the way back there. I guess I could do that now. Why don't we do that now? So now, because the cars and everything are on a separate layer, I can just really easily sort of map it out. Select this color here, go on that background layer, do a gradient, do a gradient, do a gradient, and just like lighten it up a little bit. Or not lighten it up, but like desaturate it a little bit. Push it back more. And here we have this. That sign should actually be yellow because then it sort of indicates that it changes. Like it should be like a pixel board type thing. Well, I'll fix that. I have a fix for that actually. What I'll do is I'll do it like this. It would probably be more like this. So say like you have, you know, because it's uh, it's Celsius. So then how it would probably be be like one of those pixel board type things. So let's fix this up here right now. We'll go on this other layer, and then I'll pick uh, yellow like that, and then. What I'll do is I'll pick a uh, pencil tool. So let's say, what would it be, like three things across, three pixels across, so one, two, or four, or five actually. Three, four, oops, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what is this, it's hot day today in this place. So we said it was going to be, let's fix it and do it right for once. So it's 35, 35 Celsius. That's warm. So there we go, we have a semblance that it's sort of like uh, glowing a little bit. Like it's an illuminated sign. And so we do that, save it, always save it. If you're like stalling or thinking about something, just save it. Just always, always save it. Now, we have this thing here. So what we'll do, change our brush back onto the normal brush setting. Increase the size a little bit. And draw like a, a small line there. Just sort of suggest that there's like a rim to it. And there as well too. And then, let's see, we should probably have some shade there. Well, I'll worry about that later. So, let's see. So there we go. Let's, uh, let's put some shade on these cars too, a little bit more. So, let's see, the shade wouldn't be too, too much on these cars, not that much. Not that much, because they're sort of like, sort of facing the sun a little bit. So that's that. Now, we should also do the same thing underneath the water. So what I'll do is I'll put a shade layer over top of the water and sky, and then I'll also create a clipping mask and make it a multiply. So now, what we can do, same thing. So now we can go and make this like shade here. So now what's happening is like the uh, the bridge is casting a shadow. So you can see the reflection of the bridge. Oops, wrong. You can see the reflection of the bridge, but you can also see where the shadow is as well too. Now the sun is pretty high up, so the shadow will almost be, like it almost be directly underneath it. So let's draw a nice line holding shift down like so and uh, it's not as apparent here and what we can do is also put some shade here to make it sort of like all oh, the bushes are sort of a little bit raised above this sand bank it's a bit more interesting and then in order to break it up a little bit so it doesn't look so uh, synthetic we'll just take a sort of a rough brush a little bit and just like go in and just adjust it a little bit just a little bit, you don't need much just to sort of suggest that you know it's it's not you know 
so flat and even. Then here as well, this this should actually have a little bit more shade here. Like there's like a type of like cliff here almost it seems like. So let's just do just a general little gradient there. Very, very slight. And even, you know, we can even go a little bit more fancy than that. Let's turn on the flow. Turn down the flow rather. And we have to turn up the, turn that off. Turn on the, turn hardness down a little bit. You know, I'm not too scared about showing my brush strokes because I want it to have that sort of appeal, like I've said over and over again. Like I want it to feel that it's like, you know, drawn. I don't want it to be synthetic. So let me just push that up a little bit more and then go like this. There we go. There we go. It's looking okay. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's do some, maybe do some highlights. Yeah, well, you know, actually I already got this layer over top of the line art, so I guess I could call that a highlight layer. Now let's take this uh, blue here. What we're going to do, I want to make it look like the sun is, uh, whoops, I want to make it look like the sun is casting, making this blue like really, really light. So what we'll do is we'll go to color, crank it up, and we'll take our brush, put the flow all the way up, turn the hardness up so that it's a very solid line. So, and then what we do is we take that and we go like this. And just like that, it appears like the top of the, and we'll do it with the cars too, appears like the top of this railing or safety embankment, or a safety uh, guardrail, whatever you want to call it, guardrail is probably right, is like now the sun is like on top of it, so it has a little bit of a ledge. And technically the perspective is such that we wouldn't see the top of it, but it's just a, it's a storytelling device that, you know, helps sort of establish that and also I'll do it here like this and then erase back certain parts so that it you know it it guides the eye down the road here now we have those lamps as well too so we should do those as well so let's but not let's not do it that bright so what I'll do is I'll pick color I'll draw the line first so that the perspective is parfait and then uh, draw the line in between like so. So small details, but when we zoom out, you'll see it like it looks more legit. Like it looks like it has more um, form to it. We'll do it with these guys too. They aren't as drawn as well. What can I say? They're just not drawn as well. So put those on there too, and then pick white. And what we can do is like do like just some just some highlights here and there to make it because cars are shiny. So generally, even a dirty car is shiny, has shine to metal aspects to it and different planes. So. It's just to suggest that it's like sunny, so the tops of the cars would have like that sort of specular, that shine. Just makes it a little bit more believable. You don't have to, you don't have to go overboard with it. Just a little bit. It's like the bat, you know, like like they say the ballet. You know, you don't get too close to the ballet. You see all the hair on the legs or whatever it is, you know. It's all from a distance, you know. Like if you go close to drawings or paintings, it's like, oh, it's a whole, you can see the brush strokes and stuff. And But it's about how it feels from a distance. Then all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's not as, you know, those things aren't quite as important. It's like it's, yeah, okay, it's a little bit rough in spots, but then it's like you don't, you don't notice it so much. Because realistically, your eye is only going to look at that background for like a little while, very little while. Uh, let's do some water. So we got water happening here. So what it will do is we'll do it around. 
doing around here, all I'm doing is just going with a white brush and just, you know, it's caught, this water is calm. It's very calm water. So that sort of edge where the water starts and finishes, it's not where, it's not a clear cut sort of blue and, uh, you know, like sand. It's like, it's varied. So, so in the end, you know, we just have like, I mean, you can look at any like Caribbean photo and stuff like this and I find like similar stuff, but usually with like shallow tropical water and stuff, you have this effect. Uh, somebody's knocking on the door. They're just gonna have to wait. Unless it's fire alarm, I'm not leaving. So. So, like this. And of course, as we start getting further away, the lines should be, like, more faded out. Looks like we have a little bit of shallow land over there, too. So very, very light, very light. Not much, don't, don't do too much. You know, and when in doubt, look at your reference, but I know what I want this to look like. And we'll fade this out just a little, just a little bit as it goes in the, in the background more, we wanna just fade it out just a little bit so it doesn't look as brilliant. It's like more in the distance. So, and oh yeah, we should do some under here too, where the light is. It should be where the light is, not not necessarily under the um, the bridge. You can, but it should be like you know where the where the light is being cast from the sun. And I'm gonna do a do a little bit of white here too on this uh, top of this embankment here. So let's zip that over there, and there, and then we'll adjust it where we sort of screwed it up. There we go. That's not bad. And well, we'll do one over here too. We'll pierce that black line. That'll have a nice effect. It makes it look like it's like some sort of a uh, ridge. There we go. And again, be careful not to get too go too crazy with it. Otherwise, it starts looking like a. It starts looking a little bit too synthetic. Well, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. Looks like a nice place. Have a nice time there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now this is over the line art layer. So what we can do, is we can go here. And remember, this is over the line art layer. Now this, this layer. So what we'll do is we'll pick, pick the screen here and then just do a slight haze like that just a little bit to make it a little bit lighter than how we had it there we go very slight very slight now do i want some more highlights here maybe even just just a little bit let's not go nuts but just a just a little bit make it really bright okay pick our brush size it down and it's sort of like where the palm is like shiny uh, let's make it brighter it's like where the, the the light is you know it's like the the palm has like a type of a sheen to it there we go and then do some here like that isn't this fun you having fun i'm having fun that was loads of fun. I like this stuff. It's not perfect. It's not the best. Never said it was, but it's the way I do it. And some people like it, so that's good. I like it. You know, it's like sometimes it's like, yes, you know, doing, I used to do like sort of like more realistic stuff, like hyper realistic. And it's like, you know, there is this, the suspension of belief is much more interesting uh, it's, it's a much more interesting tool to use when you're drawing and what I mean by that is like you, you're allowed to sort of venture away from reality in a little way not too much that it becomes unbelievable 
Like, I mean, you can't, like, draw a realistic character and then the next page draw an unrealistic character and, you know, expect there to be continuity. So I mean to say there is a continuity to it. But even then, it's like, you know, I this is a reality on its own. Like, light works a certain way, there are some outlines and stuff, but you, you'll accept it. You have no problem with it because it's done so... Uh, consistently throughout that you accept it as part of this reality so that's what I mean is that you can draw your own reality and I think that's sometimes that's more interesting than realistic stuff because realism it's like it's limited to what you see and if you don't do it that way then it doesn't look realistic and it's hard believe you me it's very hard to do realistic stuff but this sort of stuff where there's sort of a, a unique character to it is also hard because you have to really keep sort of a um, a nuanced sort of reality and it's very difficult sometimes because you have to think you have to think what is in this reality and how to make it like convincing so I'll just fix some of these numbers up a little bit I want it to look nice this is the thing also with Photoshop is like you start getting really close details. Like this is so small on the page, no one will even see it. But you know what, we do it because we want the quality to be there, so at least somewhat. So I'm gonna put one like that, maybe put one down like this, oh that's a little bit sloppy. Oops. See and do this here like this. There we go. There we go. Save it. Save it. And what else we got? Uh, let's let's do another thing. Let's. Um, I don't like how similar in distance this looks. So let's sort of haze that out just a little. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Control. And we'll use a little bit of a gradient and sort of haze it back a little bit. And then erase that back just a smidge. There we go. Now it sort of looks like it's going off into the distance a little bit. And that's pretty good. There's a few other tricks we can do. Now the other thing is, oh, I forgot to put some white down here for the, because uh, I have that effect going here as well too. So let's let's make it believable. But the water is there. It makes it. You know, it's just one of the, say, you could call it a gimmick. It's a little bit gimmicky, but you know, I think it looks nice. Sometimes it's nice to sort of suggest the panels are bigger than what you see. So it's like we get a bigger feel like the water, like we're over the water somewhere. So now it feels like it has that added appeal to it. At least I think so. And let's clean up that mess. Where is that? Is that here? Where is that mess? You know what, let's do it the right way for once. And what we'll do is go here, whoops. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Doing this the hard way. Let's not do it the hard way. Let's do it the easy way. Uh, now my layers are getting so complex I might have to move my brushes somewhere else. Can I shrink that down more? No. Hmm. Okay. Let's go here. Let's pick a normal brush. You know, if I knew it was allowed, I would have music going in the background too because it just it adds to it. I think it's you listen to certain types of music, it'll help uh, help create a mood. So there you have it. We did uh, we did that pretty quick. So that takes time, takes time. So anyways, here, hold on. Let's 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 just just a little bit of let's haze that out just a little bit. It's a little bit too a little bit too sharp. Go like that. And a little bit here too. Uh, just a, just a little bit. There we go. See that, guys? That didn't take too long. So we'll call that the background. So that, that's the second part of the background. 
So there you have it. So we'll go in nice and close so you can see it. There are other tricks, but we'll go in and do that later. You know what, that, that little black line there is bothering me. Let's get rid of that, so, because it's on multiply. The line arts are on multiply, so you can go in and sort of uh, draw on the line art layer. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oops, sorry. I'll show you what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is I'm just going in and just sort of whiting it out on the actual black and white layer. Turn on everything. Anything else we want to get rid of? Hey, because now as we have it, we might as well do it and white out anything that's like we're not happy with. And go over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's go. Save it. Next, uh, in very much a similar fashion, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do all of the, the cars. My favorite. Oh, I love cars so much. So we're going to do that next. All right, guys. So, but at any rate, <laughs> round out the video with a sneeze. Excuse me. So yeah. That's it there. See you guys in the next in the next video.